که ایشون همزمان هم منتقد و مخالف حکومت حاکم هستند هم مخالف این شورای ملی سوریه که تشکیل شده ایشون اتفاقا اومده بودن اینجا با من و یکی دیگر دوستان که خیلی کمک کردن تو ساخت این برنامه یه گفتگوی انجام دادن که شاید حالا شنیدن صحبت هایشون هم بد نباشه یه تیکه های شما ضبط کردیم گفتن برای شما جالب باشه اونا رو ببینیم پس این با هم ببینیم How did the Syrian National Council, how were they elected? You know, there are 300, me uh, you know, 300 members. Who elected them? You know, there's 24 millions in Syria, uh, million people in Syria. There's 9 million Syrians abroad. Uh, did any of those, you know, ab abroad, I mean, 9 million or 24 million, did any uh, of these people take, uh, uh, was there any elections or was there a process where those people elected to become represent representative of the Syrian people? The Syrian National Council got because again of uh, Saudi and Qatar got kind of a recognition from the international community. But this again has done nothing but help the Syrian regime. Because everyone around, uh, uh, if we remember, uh, you know, everyone came out together in, uh, at the beginning of the uprisings, you know, from all sects, all religions, all ethnicities. But then they looked and they were like, the Syrian regime started telling them, you know, look, there is a, a conspiracy. Uh, uh, look at the television channels, for example, that are set up in Saudi Arabia and, and in, uh, you know, and other uh, television channels that are owned by Saudi, who are all attacking and calling on jihad against Alawites and Shiites, uh, like Safa uh, TV and Wissal TV. You also had, for example, uh, the former Chief Justice of Saudi Supreme Council, Sheikh Al Haidan, who came out and said, "I call the first two months of the uprising. He called, I call on jihad." against the Alawite infidels, even if one third of the population died through the process. Nobody can believe that any citizen in Syria or in the Middle East or around the world doesn't want to live in democracy, freedom and dignity. But of course they don't want to, they haven't suffered all this time, all these 40 years to exchange a dictatorship for theocracy. You know, and they all have seen what happened in Iran. And actually, it should be a good example what happened in Iran so that it doesn't get repeated again in, in any Middle Eastern country. If not, it's going to be chaotic.